Here are the top posts from the Stupid Questions on the 23rd of October 2019. Dadbot Panda 91. Is it just me or does it seem like we're on the brink of a worldwide revolution? S0 and 0 Phi 0 RN. Chances are that it's always been like this. But now we just have more cameras than any time in the past. Hawk acted. What is happening right now is absolutely nothing compared to most of the 20th century which saw two world wars, then long-term Cold War with constant threat of nuclear destruction and many bloody revolutions all around the world. The only thing that changed is the travel speed and overall amount of information which allows to see every single conflict in much more detail and we are also surrounded by it 24-7 thanks to social media which might give the feeling of something big looming but I personally don't believe that situation right now would be even close to the instability of last century. Kyodai no Yatsu. Information spreads faster, now. A lot of people are starting to see shit for what it really is. Post-orgasm mind. Have any of you ever used to the space bar to scroll down the page intentionally? Why be flex? It's horrible. Like when you're on YouTube and the video isn't marked by default and you go to space bar to pause. It. I wanna scream every time. O-N-E-Z-Q. Never have. Never will. Greg's World. Yes just tried it to see if it worked after reading this title. FYI shift plus space to scroll up, and it's the exact same functionality as page up, down. Body Master. When a dog wakes up from dreaming, does it understand that it was asleep? Or does it think it's just been instantly transported somewhere else? SA. No expert, but, I would imagine the dog wouldn't even think about that in the first place. It would more disregard location in the first place, rather than wondering how it got there. Relaxed sea turtle. Maybe we should ask a dog. Little boy found. I've often wondered the same thing. Sometimes my dogs are quite active in their dreams. Legs moving. Soft barking. If they were dreaming that they were chasing an animal or playing it makes me wonder what they think upon waking up. Three Gloins in a Fountain. How do actors that maintain a lot of eye contact with their co-stars, especially during love scenes, deal with the biological dopamine response? Ethereal Oldra T. This kind of reminds me of a story about two actors, whose name I forget. They had to film a sex scene or at least something with nudity. The male actor told the female actor, I'm sorry if I get one and I'm sorry if I don't. Shagan. Didn't Hitchcock say something along the lines of, Every romance is continued when the cameras are off. No exceptions. Blue catastrophe. You have two options as an actor. 1. Learn to compartmentalize your experiences on stage in a healthy way. In the same way that one realizes that not every impulse in the rest of your life should be followed by action, e.g. you don't physically assault every person you're attracted to and you don't punch every person that makes you angry. Not every feeling demands an outward response. Learning how to come down off of the emotional roller coaster of a character is certainly something that actors work through and process in a lot of different ways. And some do it much better than others. 2. You date or hook up with a lot of other actors that you're in shows with. Which is definitely a thing that happens. Edit. Phrasing on last sentence. Iguana tap that axolotl. Is it poor etiquette to ask a professional baker for a recipe? Christabi02. I would preface your request with what you said. You have allergies and finding recipes that satisfy is challenging. You aren't going to sell her recipes or products. You genuinely loved her product and would utilize it. Seems like anyone would be okay with that if you're not trying to turn around and sell it. Red at night. 
I think she'd appreciate the request. The worst she could do is say no. I say go ahead. Pain and brain. No, it can't hurt to ask. The worst they can say is no. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.